I'm Claire from Wild Ginger Running and I'm here in the Peak District with Julia Tregaskis allen from Tracks and Trails Mountain Running Holidays and we have been testing running buggies because we have both recently given birth <laughs> but we don't want to stop our exciting running, biking and skiing in your case, yep. lives. <laughs> um, so we have been testing these. Ta-da! And we're going to take you through each one in a moment. But first of all, Julia's just got some thoughts about what you should look for in a running buggy in general. So take it away. Generally, most of them are not uh, suitable until the child is six months. Some of them are good from newborn. Um, but this is something you're going to be looking at after you've got through that newborn phase. Your child will face away from you. By the time they're six months, they're going to be wanting to look where they're going anyway. They'll have been looking at you for the last six months they're looking to enjoy the world around them and unlike little wheels that are on a, a normal traditional buggy that maneuver around supermarkets and things these are quite long a little bit chunkier so they might take up a bit more space in your car the additional items can be quite pricey so one of these branded could be 100 pounds whereas this was 25 pounds so if you look around you might get something that um, saves you a bit of money these buggies are absolutely fantastic when it comes to just getting out out and about you're not restricted to pavements anymore so even if you're not a runner even if you just want to go down to a beach or go down to a little lake and it's an awkward trail it just gives you four-wheel drive we've given them a good test run in the past year and we hope that this review will um, give you some ideas on how to choose the best one for your, you and your family yeah we've definitely got them muddy haven't we <laughs> yeah <laughs> absolutely you'll you'll see that they're pretty muddy they have been used <laughs> This is the Cybex AV. It costs £480 and it weighs 10.6 kilograms and it's suitable from six months to 22 kilograms, which is about four years. <laughs> so the thing that I really liked about this pram was that it's really, really lightweight. It's one of the best prams that I found for feeling like you're not really running with a running buggy. You can really easily push down on that handlebar, even with one hand, and the wheel lifts up and you can just change direction. So I really like that about this pram. The wheels are really easy to come off. It's very easy to, to stow away, to, to put back, to put up and to put down again. The other thing is that the, the hood comes down really, really far. So you feel like your baby is shaded um, and you can even just take it off altogether. The buggy also has a little peep hole here, Velcro over, and then it's just mesh here so that you can see um, whether your beloved little angel is asleep or not. Um, this is one of the most ventilated buggies on the test. It's got mesh for the peephole, mesh here at the side and mesh here um, at the sides as well. So um, it's very much a summer or hot climate buggy. So that's something to bear in mind as well, depending on where you live. Inside, you have got um, a really easy clip mechanism and a really easy adjustment mechanism as well. It has got reflective detail around the side here and over the hood. The rain cover folds down quite well, stows either in the underneath compartment or there's a pouch in the back here as well. Um, and it goes on really easily. I have used this in a torrential downpour before and I did find I had to put a plastic bag over this area here because there is a bit of a gap. Um, but that was only in a torrential, torrential downpour. Um, this is quite nice as well. You can roll this up so that if it's just if you're just using it as a bit of a wind cover you can actually stow this up here as well the brake is really easy to use i found on both of the prams that i've been using that with these larger wheels on the handlebar brake doesn't actually pull the pram to a complete stop like the one down here does but it just is useful for slowing you down um, the handlebar can also be adjusted as well and this is one of the most adjustable handlebars that is in the buggies on test. If you're a really tall person, you can even use it all the way up like that. So that's pretty cool. The position of the brake, if you can see just here, is good. You can fit your whole hand underneath it, that's nice, but it is quite far to have to pull, um, but it's, it's, a, it's a good 
braking system there. I feel like that's really nice and sleek. You're not going to hurt your hand on any of that. The main annoying thing about this pram for me, apart from it being too long, especially if you live in a place where the shops are quite small, was this part here, the backrest, which goes up and down. So it's really easy to let it down when your kid falls asleep. So you just pull this and with the weight of the child in there, it just falls down. The difficult part is putting it back up again. You have to put the brake on, push him like this, hold it with your head, pull this strap down, then use both hands to do the strap up like that. And that is a, is a tricky part of the pram. And I found that the other buggy that I used, well, that was a lot easier in that respect. The wheels are a bit slimmer than the other running buggies on this test. Um, so it's not quite as good for going in super muddy trails um, and like really rugged off-roading. Lends itself more to like canal paths, um, trails like Rutland Water, you know, where it's tarmac and gritty gravel paths. Um, but so not necessarily um, as rugged as some of the other, other buggies in this test. So this is the Out and About Nipper Sport. Um, it retails at £435, although currently I've seen it's on offer for £319 on their website. It's 9.8 kilos um, and it's suitable for children from six months to about four years, which is um, they recommend up to 22 kilos. Um, at six months you, um, you can start running with it. So from newborn you could use it but it has an adapted, you put a car seat inside. So this is the first buggy that I've tested and I've had it for a year now so I feel like I know it through and through. Um, what I first found as with all of the running buggies but the freedom it gives you it's got very high clearance um, so it rolls over a mixture of mud, stone, gravel, um, any type of terrain. Um, you're not necessarily going to be able to run over all of that terrain but certainly you can go for walks and it takes you literally out and about to places that you couldn't go with a standard buggy. It's very um, compact when you close it down. All the wheels come off. This sun canopy is, is, is fantastic. Um, you've got a little peekaboo um, lid here so you can look down and see your child and you can see whether they're snoozing or not. Other features, this handle here, this drops down, so depending on your height you've got this. You've got a brake in the middle, uh, which is fantastic, especially when you're going downhill. Um, you also have a strap, which you hold on to, which is all, also works as a bit of a brake, but it's a safety strap. So if you're descending anything, you've got this as well as the brake. On the back here, you've obviously got a brake, so you can, you've got a hard brake to stop and start it. Underneath, you've got space. You can still go shopping. Um, this is the uh, waterproof cover. Um, you've got space to go shopping with it. You can get a few kilos in, not as much as a normal pram, but you can get the essentials in. Um, there's also the ability to drop the pram down so the child can go flat. So that can go flat like that. If you've got a, a, a newborn, you'd... Um, it, it's not really suitable for a newborn to start off with, but you can put a car seat in, which will be fine. And that slots in, in just there. So they're suitable for running from um, about six months. One of the things I really like this about this is it's British made. So I feel that if you needed parts or if there was anything that was broken, it would be quite easy to get. Although I find that there are a few things perhaps that could be improved. And so I, I have a friend that's had this and they've done 2000 kilometers in it. Um, she's had it for two years and she has said, this is where this will start to wear. And I can imagine that that will happen. From my use, I've noticed that the, um, the foam on the handle has started to um, degrade um, and the brake is not that easy sometimes to put on. So I feel like if there's a bit of mud that gets caught in, it's very easy for it to not work. Um, and um, the only other feature that I'd say is that maybe you could do with having a little bit more sunshade for the child just down the sides, maybe a little bit further. However, they do offer a sunshade that you can buy separately, but that covers the whole buggy. If there was one improvement that I, would look, I was looking for with this buggy is actually the straps. What I find is when I collapse it and put it in the car or it's stowed away, the straps um, 
lengthen and I have to readjust them to put the child back in again. So that's a little bit, um, bit frustrating. However, overall, I still think it's really good value for money. This is the mountain buggy terrain. It costs £580 and it weighs 13.5 kilograms. Um, it's usable from newborn to 25 kilograms, so kind of five years old. Um, you can also, on this chassis, get a newborn lay down cot. The main good thing is that it's a real hybrid. It's really the best of both worlds. You can use it for running and it's really easy to take round shops as well due to this amazing wheel at the front here. So you can either have this wheel locked out either in this front facing position or facing backwards as well or you can have it on swivel which is what I usually use it on um, just for ease of maneuvering around. The wheels are really easy to take on and off and I think this is one of the easiest buggies to assemble and reassemble. The inside for the kid is awesome. You really feel like they're strapped in really securely with this five point strap and then you just press the middle button and they all just come flying out. You can get them out dead easy. You've got little pockets for the kids stuff in here. Um, straps are not the easiest. The other pram that I had, the Cybex AB, you just pull the strap to adjust it. This is more of a complicated manoeuvre with, there's like three things going on here. These are very secure though with this flip attachment there. Um, the hood is really good and then there's this extra bit here where uh, it's a bit more of a sun visor. There's also a zip area here so that is for an extension there is a peep flap just here there's loads of room for shopping underneath and there's a really nice zip mesh that you can put um, things under so that they don't come out well, there's loads of pockets this is really good so you've got a pocket here and here there's bottle pockets just here for water bottles there's a side zip pocket just here and on the other side as well there's also pockets here on the water bottle you could put maybe a, a gel or something that pokes out the top but it'd be handy if these were elasticated here the other really great thing about this pram is the backrest so this is the easiest one that I've seen throughout the whole test all you do to lower it down is simply release these two adjusters so it can go all the way back to pretty much a lay down position and then it's really easy to pull it back up because you just use one hand to pull them back up and the other hand to pull the straps like that so that is the easiest one rather than doing that head thing i was doing earlier it would be really good if it had some reflective detail on it like it would be nice um, to have this bit here reflective instead of just white and black the handlebar it has lots of points of adjustment that can't fault that really easy to adjust but the brake is not the comfiest. This bit here can catch compared to the Cybex AV and also the full glide, which you can turn. I just feel like it's, it's in the middle and that hand's fine, but this hand gets a raw deal. The rain cover is really, really good. It's excellent, in fact. Zip like that, your baby's going to be really secure. Because it's bulky, I tend to have it on all the time. And because it's winter at the moment, even though it's not raining, it's quite handy as a, a windproof. I tend to use this pram a lot more than the Cybex AV because I am doing a lot of things in one go. So I will pick Finley up from nursery and run and then go to do some shopping with him. So if you want a pram that you can really do everything with, then this is excellent. So this is the Thule Glide 2. Um, it is without a doubt, I think, the Ferrari of running buggies. Um, it retails quite high at uh, £625, but you do get what you pay for. The weight is 10.8 uh, kilos, so a little bit heavier than the out and about uh, Nipper Sport, and obviously um, uh, double the price. Um, but it functions really, really well. Children can use this from six months up until 22 kilos, which is probably about four years old. It is really well made. And you notice from the moment that you take it out of the packaging and you start putting it together, it just slots together and feels, it's sleek, it's smooth. Every part of it feels, you know, you can see why it costs what it does. 
it has um, excellent suspension here. The suspension is also covered in a rubber um, covering, which you feel like will keep it um, from getting dirty. So it doesn't really get clogged up in the same way in terms of the mechanics. At the top here, you've got this excellent um, sun canopy. It just comes down that a little bit further. So you feel like their eyes are being covered. But what's really good feature about this is it's got a zip and you can make that even further down. And I love that. And it, in pretty much most conditions, that has been fine on a sunny day. The buckling system works really, really well. It's one button. This slots in and out the side there and it's very faff free. And I really like that. This adjusts really easily. So I really like those, um, those features. So taking the child in and out seems pretty stress-free. There's a couple of little stowing pockets inside there, which are great. You've got a flap here, so you can see the child through there. The handle has got two adjustments. So it can either be stowed away, so it's flat when it's in your car, here, or it's got a higher point if you're taller. And the brake, instead of being a lever, it's twist lock, which is I found really works well. You can sort of resist back on it. That's a nice feature. You've got two compartments with this. You've got um, somewhere to stow your waterproof cover, but then you've also got a shopping bit. And the brake functions really well. I've not had any problems with this going on and off. So I think the waterproof cover works really well on this. It's incredibly um, well fitted. It's really easy to put on, but the thing that I've really noticed, which is different to other running buggies, is how um, small it folds down and the fact that you've got that nice stowing pocket, which is separate to the um, shopping um, uh, storage section at the bottom. So it, and it, it just feels very easy to, to use. Um, the other thing that I really like on the inside of this one is um, when the baby is lying down flat, just lie our baby down flat, um, it's a really comfortable position and this goes, um, I, I just feel that when my child's lying down in this it just feels supported and, and cosy and comfy. So yeah, I, I do feel that although this is on the pricier end of the market, you really do get what you pay for. With the uh, mechanism for collapsing it, 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 it does take a little bit of effort. Um, so I find that if I've got a bit of a tired child, that that can be a little bit frustrating. It's also quite long. It's the longest buggy that we've got. So it, it takes up a bit more space in the car. But also because of the length, when you go shopping, it can be a little bit cumbersome when you're maneuvering around shops and small places. Although it's pricey, it's really hard to beat. Um, it, it all works really well. And the minute you run away um, down the trail with it, um, you feel like it's really, really sturdy. This is the Burley D-Lite X. It costs 710 to 780 pounds online. It weighs 14.2 kilograms, either in bike trailer mode or also in this running mode. And it's suitable from six months to 34 kilogram capacity. So this is the more value version of multi-activity. So I haven't, to be honest, used it as much for running because I have the other two buggies and there is no brake on the handlebars. I haven't used it for skiing but I have used it a lot on the bike and that has been fantastic. So at the back here is where you adjust the handlebar with this yellow lever so you can have it at any height that you want and then simply just pull it back down. The brake is just a simple foot brake that goes on and off like that. The running position is just straight so you don't get any maneuverability with this wheel so you've got to push down on the handlebars to turn it left and right. That is really easy to do. If you have the bike trailer version of this on then the wheel does swivel so you can use it like that for walking and a bit of light jogging as well. The wheels are really beefy. These ones are 20 inch. It collapses down incredibly small and it's quite easy to fit in the car. It's also really easy to open it out again. One of the best things about this for me is that it's completely waterproof. So whereas the others had kind of gaps over here, he, this is completely waterproof um, and that is fantastic. So you've got this transparent 
section at the front here that you can zip up so you could use this if it wasn't muddy and you were biking so you've got mesh there in case you know any gravel flies up or there's insects and then you have this um, sun visor which you can either have all the way down here or you can pull it all the way back to the top it's also got reflective details here and here and you've got loads of reflective details on the side so that's also good for either night running or um, using it on the roads um, with the bike these are little tags i found these a little bit faffy like i just i don't know how that could be made easier just maybe a velcro but you definitely know that they're secure if they're on this yellow clip they can also see out here and here you've got pockets for the kid to put things in, some toys, and you've got a really comfy seat which can recline a little bit but not very much. You can't lay it right back for the kid to sleep in a laying down position. It has got um, a younger kid attachment. There is five point adjustment, uh, really easy to use, nice comfy straps. There's plenty of foot room as well and there's plenty of storage space in this whole thing. This is a really fantastic pram for multi-sport. If you want to cycle, you want to go cross-country skiing and if you want to run um, as well, then this is a really good value option for you. So this is the Thul Chariot Cross One. Um, it is also, um, they have a version which is the number two where you can put um, two children in. But this is actually a multi-sport trailer. It retails at £950 and that is for the bike and stroller section. If you want to run, that's a an additional £130. If you want to ski, it's an additional £350. So it's pricey, but it is one size fits all and it will work with children from newborn because you can see this one's got a newborn insert. So this is what they call a sling, um, but it goes up to children of about 22 kilos, again, around about four years old. So um, pricey, but it's going to be with you for a while and you can use it in all seasons. To be able to switch from biking to stroller to running to skiing, it all comes down to this little function here. Here. so you undo these and you switch from whichever activity you want so from here I'm going to take this out and this is going to put it into stroller mode which now means that you can now go in and around town as it's a normal buggy and it's in this section here that you would add in one bar for cycling um, or switching to skis and there's actually skis that go underneath and then um, a bar that goes around the waist so you'll be able to go cross-country skiing with it. It's got great vision all the way around. The front has got this mesh here so it helps protect them but you can also put this up as either a sun visor or if you think there's mud and things and these do fit really really well. The back section here we've got a really good compartment for stowing things. Like there's plenty of space here and you've got reflectors because you obviously you might be on the road and there's also this section here which is where you can put your um, waterproof cover Again, here you've got a handle which will adjust depending on your height. The main difference with this compared to a running buggy is it doesn't have a handbrake. Um, and I have found that as a little bit difficult when I'm on a steep hill because it's actually heavier than the, the other running buggies. Like the full glide, the wheels come on and off really easily. Um, and just everything feels compact and solid. Um, it's very hard to fault anything in terms of the manufacturing. A lot of time and effort has been put into this to make it do all the jobs it does really well. So this is the uh, rain cover. What I have found is the fact it's so neat and tight fitting sometimes it's a little bit fiddly either with cold hands or in, when you're in a bit of a hurry. It could just be a little bit easier to put on but once it's on it's very snug. And obviously the, the other sort of main downside is the price. Um, obviously you're going for this compared to another running buggy because it does all the other things. It's hard to be perfect with all sports, um, but um, it does do everything. And then you've just got one buggy for all your activities.
Okay, we might have to like lunge come down, down a bit. A bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, come a few bit closer. Make it look like we're friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it, you, it's actually fixed at one height. Actually, no, it's not. It's on two. I have to cut that bit out. <laughs> Oops, okay, bloomer. <laughs> Is it still recording? Yeah. Subscribe free on YouTube and follow me on Instagram for more gear tests and training advice. I also have a book out too for everything you need to know about trail running in one handy package, including more gear advice, nutrition tips, recipes, ways to beat injury, and training plans from 10K to 50K. Check it out here.